Hello guys, Brooklyn here, and this is every LEGO 18 Plus set leak, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video and subscribe and turn notifications as we're so close to 70,000 subscribers, but let's get into it. So the LEGO 18 Plus line has continued to bring out some incredible sets and truly something for everyone, but given just how many sets LEGO are now releasing under this banner, it's almost impossible to keep up with what's coming. So I've saved you all that time and work and today I've compiled everything which you know for the 18 Plus lineup coming in 2024. And first off, we're going to start off with the LEGO architecture theme which last year saw Magic Castle release. This year, they're going even better bigger and better with 21061, this one being the Notre Dame Cathedral. This one will be the biggest LEGO architect set of all time, coming in with 4,383 pieces. And that one is going to be coming a pretty fair value of $230. Of course, a lot of small pieces will be included. And that one isn't releasing too long away now on June 1st, 2024. Cannot wait to see how LEGO have captured the cathedral in architecture form, all those tiny details, interior, and also the exterior of the cathedral. Cannot wait for that one. And then we're going to move on to the like art theme which saw just the two parrots released at the start of this year but we're getting such an iconic painting in the summer being 31213 this one being Mona Lisa this one to me made sense always to be a like art set so it's great like got finally making it it's going to be going in with 1503 pieces and should be retailing for $100 and that one is going to be launching on June 1st 2024 so without the painting a Mona Lisa herself and then also a gold frame around it so it should look pretty good but the other art set the one I'm definitely most excited for is 31212 this one being the milky way galaxy coming in with 3091 pieces being the biggest art set for this year it's going to be coming in at 200 and it should be launching sometime in may 2024 this one given all the space sets that i got doing this year it's going to be incredible to be able to hang the milky way up on your wall and this one i presume will be a similar size to what we saw with the spider-man art with that price tag of 200 and then last week we saw the release of the lego snow white's cottage i'm loving this one but we are getting more 18 plus sets there for disney this year we're getting 43247 this one being lion king simba this one essentially is a giant brick built version you can display on your shelf wherever of simba from the lion king should be containing 1445 pieces and should be returned for 130 dollars and launching on june 1st so definitely so far a lot of good stuff coming on june 1st so yeah we'll just be getting that one for the rest of this year because given we're not getting any massive sets like the disney castle this year sadly for disney fans and then we're going to move on to the ever popular like our icons theme where once again we're getting a brand new Lord of the Rings set after Rivendell was introduced last year. This time it's going to be 10333 Lord of the Rings Barrow Dur. This one has been long anticipated and we know it's coming in with 5,471 pieces. So pretty massive set. It is also going to set you back $460 so not cheap at the same time. We know the minifigures will include Frodo, Sam, Sauron, Orcs and more unknown characters. So just like we saw in Rivendell it looks like we'll get some pretty awesome Lord of the Rings characters and that one is going to be launching on June 1st 2024. It's a lot long to wait at all now and i'm sure this one once again will be the ultimate lego lord of the ring set but another license which is also returning for lego icons will be lego transformers with 10338 being transformers bumblebee joining the lineup this one a little bit smaller than optus prime coming in with 950 pieces and that one is going to be costing you 90 dollars when it is going to be releasing on july 1st 2024 it is rumored that bumblebee will be based off the g1 version as that is based off what optimus prime is also based on and it is 40 years of transformers and we do know it will be a two one to transform into a car so just like we saw with optimus prime hopefully without having to rebuild anything you can seamlessly transform it into a car and lego space fans are also getting a brand new icon set this year we don't have too many details other than 10341 will be a licensed space set coming with 3601 pieces and actually not bad value for that piece count coming in at 260 dollars that one we know is launching sometime in may alongside the milky way galaxy art piece so yeah lego have been doing a few licensed space sets over recent years they've also been pretty good so i'm sure this one will be no different we'll also be getting a non-ip so an unlicensed space set this one being 10391 lego moment space it's going to be coming out with 966 pieces and should be retailing for 110 dollars we know that one is now launching after loads of delays on august 1st 2024 all we know so far is going to be a black spaceship we don't know if it's blacktron or classic space and also it will include a lot of minifigure head and hair pieces to build your own space man so i'm interested to see what that one ends up being and of course with like icon 
Islands. They cover so many properties now, like Castle, also movies like the latest Jude Ornithopter. We do have some code names for the rest of the year sets, including 10334. This one being an Icons music set, coming in with 906 pieces on June 1st. So we know that one will be somewhat of a music related build coming in June. Then we have 10337 being a brand new vehicle. This one with 1506 pieces launched on July 1st. All we can tell from this one is it should be returned to the larger vehicles, unlike the McLaren we saw released in March. Then we have two botanical sets. We have 10368, unknown botanicals with 278 pieces, and 10369, another botanical set with 327 pieces. What is interesting about these though is they are coming in at $30. With the botanical line, they seem to be either $50 or $60, all on the smaller scale, $15. So this looks like a brand new price point and something brand new for the botanical line, and those are going to be launching on August 1st. Then we move into later on in the year, we have 10370 being a brand new sports set for LEGO icons, coming in with 608 pieces on October 1st. First. We haven't really seen icons doing 18 plus sets since the stadiums, and this one obviously isn't a stadium and that piece count, so I'm really intrigued what that is going to be. 10340 is Conan Arc and Deco coming in with 1194 pieces, launched on October 1st. We'll also get the annual LEGO like, Winter Village set this year being 10339, 1440 pieces launching on August 1st. That one will be your standard addition to the LEGO like, Winter Village. And finally, 10335 will be a vehicle as well, this one being the massive set we see launched each year on black friday 2024 a vehicle doesn't just have to be a car it could be something like concord that was also classed as a vehicle so really intrigued what to see those icon sets end up being and then this year, LEGO is releasing a whole host of LEGO gaming IP sets, so from Mario to loads of different themes, and we do know now a Zelda set is finally becoming this later this year. That one being 70092 Zelda, the Great Deku Tree. This one essentially an 18 plus display, or kind of a diorama of the Deku Tree, which people are going to love. We know it's going to contain 2,500 pieces. Sadly, we don't have a price yet, but it should be between $200 to $300. And finally, LEGO Zelda will be hitting shelves on September 1st, 2024. Some sort of so many people are excited to finally be getting lego zelda another thing which is getting 18 plus set this year is the lego minecraft with 21265 the crafting bench this one is going to contain 1195 pieces and should be retailing to 90 dollars essentially this is a giant brick built version of the crafting bench but actually two walls will be cut out of it and inside there will be a micro scale world and within that micro scale world there'll be loads of different biomes and eight micro characters so essentially imagine the mario question mark block with two sides cut out and inside one of the classic what we saw 10 years has got originate with lego minecraft and micro scale world inside which i'm interested in see and then lego fortnite will be launching as physical sets this year we're actually getting some actual lego products and with 77092 fortnite peely bone will be an 18 plus set coming in for 60 dollars we don't have a piece count yet but we do know it is launching on october 1st this one truly could be anything it most likely is just a buildable peely bone as you can see on screen now which is an interesting choice for an 18 plus set and then 77070 will be a brand new 18 plus sonic set this one we don't know if it's something different than an expansion to the original set we saw released in 2021 i believe but that one is going to contain 720 pieces and should be retailing for 70 dollars on launching on october 1st and then finally lego mario is getting its annual 18 plus set sadly we don't know too much about it other than it is set number 71438 this one is going to be containing we don't know the piece count but we do know it's going to be 170 dollars launching on october 1st so still a few unknowns for those gaming sets but it's nice we are getting so many gaming sets within the lego portfolio then on to lego ideas where we We've already seen three sets released in 2024, but the next in the lineup is going to be an exciting one. This one being 21348 Dungeons and Dragons. It's coming turn in 3,745 pieces for so an absolutely massive set, and it's going to be retailing for $360. And that one will be launching on April 1st, 2024. This one will remain original to the what we saw in the submission, but a red dragon will be included instead. Then after that one, we will see the release of 21349 The Buildable Cat. This one coming in with 1,710 pieces that's a pretty good value on that one even though it will be a lot of small pieces it will be retailing for 100 dollars and that one will be launching on june 1st 2024 so basically just a damp robot cat to display in your home which is definitely interesting then for the rest of the sets we don't know what they are for ideas we just know one set will contain 1497 pieces launching in august one will contain 2193 pieces launching in september one will contain 1103 pieces launching in october then the final lego idea set for 2024 will 
will be launching in November. Of course, we know this year we should be expecting a Nightmare Before Christmas set, also the long anticipated Lego Jaw set, the Disney 100 Magic set, and then we'll also see either the Botanical Garden or the Twilight set released this year. So, four projects still to be confirmed with prices, everything like that, but there is going to be at least six more idea sets this year, which is very exciting. Then in 2025, we'll see either the Twilight or Botanical Garden, also the recently announced STEM project, and then also this year we should see the Reading, Reading, Reading promo in the second half of the year. So, Lego Ideas continue to put out so many sets, which is definitely welcome, so I cannot wait for those. Then we're going to move on to Lego Star Wars, where they launched a Starship collection early this year for the 18 plus sign. But as we go into May, we'll be seeing Sem 5381, the long awaited buildable droidica. This one can be quite a small set, coming in with 583 pieces, and that one should be costing $65. Essentially, what this is is a brick built display model of a droidica. There will also be an information plaque with a mini brick built droidica, which will definitely be welcome. Like I said, that one is going to be launching on May 1st, 2024. We'll also be getting a brand new diorama for 2024 for the Star Wars line, that one being Sem 5380, the Boon to E Podres diorama. This one will be a Mark Scale one coming in with 718 pieces and should be returned for $80. And that one is going to be launching with the Droid Cut on May 1st, 2024. This one will depict the scene where Sabula and Anakin's pod racer are going through Arch Canyon. So, of course, we'll get that scene and also the two pod racers in Mark Scale, which I'm sure will be cool for some people. And for the first half of the year, UCS set last year, we saw the X Wing, the continue with the original trilogy with Zen 5382 with the UCS Tight Interceptor. That one coming in with 1,931 pieces and retail for $230. That one launching as always on May 1st, 2024. It's going to be interesting to see what the new version of the Tie Interceptor is going to look like as it's been so long since we got it in UCS. And for the final set, we have Sen 5398, a buildable C3PO. This one coming in with 1,138 pieces and retail for $150, which is definitely expensive and launching on August 1st, 2024. This one will be similar to the buildable Chewbacca, which clearly hasn't been selling well, but will also be apparently in scale to the R2D2 we saw released. It was kind of a playset, but they will go together. And then finally, Sen 5397 is the Star Wars October UCS set. Sadly, we don't know anything about it yet. We know they got potentially producing a Jabba sail barge, which that could end up being, but that isn't confirmed at the moment. Then to go alongside that, we'll also have give me purchase for LEGO Star Wars when you buy that UCS set in October. And then the LEGO Marvel theme definitely ended in the high last year with LEGO Avengers Tower, which has done so well for LEGO. And actually, they'll be going a little bit smaller for one of the 18 plus sets next year and taking an idea out of Star Wars book with the MIDI scale sets, introducing 76295, the MIDI scale Harry Carrier. This one containing 509 pieces and as always, a bit of a premium with these Mario scale sets retailing for $60. That one is launching on August 1st, 2024. So imagine the Harry Carrier, but shrunk down into my scale on a little display stand will be pretty nice. 76328 is an unknown superheroes D to C. That one is going to contain 1,822 pieces launching in October. This one could be DC or Marvel. We don't know yet. It is just going to be one launching in October. And then 76294 is a Marvel D2C launching in November. This one, most likely, we know they got producing an X Mansion set. It most likely is that, but that isn't confirmed at the moment. And by the time you're watching this video, I'm live elites on been revealed, but we are getting a massive DC set in the first half of this year. Being 76271, Batman the Animated Series Gotham City. This one being a giant piece of art for your wall of that Gotham City skyline, coming in with 4,208 pieces. And return for $300. It's not going to be cheap. It will be based on Batman the Animated Series, of course, also giving us a few minifigures. Including Batman, the Joker, Catwoman, and also Harley Quinn. This one will just be an absolutely spectacular model for your wall, like we saw with the world map. And it's interesting how LEGO DC are doing such out of the box uh, DC sets, like we saw with the Batcave last year. And what is returning for LEGO Technic fans this year, a lot of people are excited about it. It's a brand new supercar, 42172. We know it's going to be the McLaren supercar. We don't know the exact make or model, but we do know it is going to be coming at $450. So definitely expensive and it's going to contain 3,893 pieces I believe being the biggest one so far So yeah, this one will go in scale with the Ferrari the Lamborghini But we should know it is going to be based on McLaren and is launching in August Then for Technic, loads of other 18 plus sets including 42182 The NASA Apollo Lunar Roving Vehicle This one coming in with 1,913 pieces Quite expensive at $250 but it is Technic, a lot of specialized elements This one is such an iconic space vehicle It makes sense to do it in 2024 given how many space sets like got are doing and then 42177 is an unknown 4x4 vehicle this one is containing 2891 pieces should be returned for $250 this one should be something similar to the Land Rover we just don't know exactly what it is yet similar to that 42174 is a licensed water vehicle 18 plus we don't know what it is yet that one a bit smaller with 962 pieces and it's going to be returned for 
$60. That one, like I say, it could truly be anything. And all those 18 plus Technic sets are launching on August 1st, 2024. So it's definitely going to be cool to see all those and what the unknown ones are as well. And August 1st will definitely be expensive for LEGO Technic fans. And then LEGO Ninjago also launched Ninjago City Markets last year. They're not technically 18 plus sets, but they are aimed at definitely older fans. And this year, we'll have Sem 1, 814. This one being Tournament Temple City. Coming in with a huge 3,489 pieces. And a bit of retailing. As always, good value for Ninjago at $250. That one is launching on June 1st, 2024. So rather than Ninjago City expansion, it's probably something similar to the Temple of Ejitsu, which is definitely exciting. And then like a Harry Potter, just saw the release of the Tolkien Sorting Hat. Another 18 plus set will arrive this year. Being 76, 437 Harry Potter. We don't know what it is yet, but we do know it's containing 2,405 pieces. So a little bit smaller than the recent year's offerings. Of course, we know LIGO are working on a barrel, so it could potentially be that. And that one is going to be launching, as always, for Harry Potter on September 1st, 2024. Things were hard to top Gringotts last year. That's kind of the ultimate set for a lot of people, but we'll see what that one ends up being. Then, of course, last month, LIGO and Britley launched the Designer Program Series 1, which went down a huge success. These are 18 plus sets. We will see Series 2 launch for pre order in June, I believe. We don't know the exact prices, but there will be five models available to pre order. LIGO then produced 30,000 of them and then ship them six months after you pre-ordered to so be able to pre-order those in june and then they will ship at the end of the year some amazing projects within those and then we'll also have series three which will be able to pre-order in october then these will ship in about a year's time from this video so yeah there is going to be five projects in june and five projects in october of course if you subscribe to the channel we will update yet when we have prices and ex exact timings for the pre-order so yeah there's a lot of 18 plus that's coming this year it definitely is hard to keep up i think a lot of people most anticipated will be the brand new lord of the ring set there's some great stuff coming for icons and also the space theme lots of different space sets it's great to be getting so many vehicles for icons and also in the technical department a lot of 18 plus sets and a brand new supercar i think the brand new bumblebee model will definitely be popular as will zelda finally be coming to lego form and even some of the lego ideas projects like jaws and to be getting more 18 plus sets from disney and also harry Potter set is definitely welcome of course when we have information on all the unknowns we will be covering on the channel so definitely subscribe and turn notifications but comment down below what set you most excited for which one are you going to be picking up you can like the video subscribe and some notifications more like videos and i'm going to video to watch any of videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and breaking i'll see you all later guys bye bye